My life is a goddamn shambles. Welcome back to Lazy Things Vlogs. We hustle harder. Productivity lives here. My tripod is very broken, so I have to keep lifting the camera. It is Saturday. How are you? Let's take a moment. How? Ooh. Too much a cleaver. How are you? How is your day going? It's the weekend. I hope you are well. Hope you are reflecting. Hope you are growing. Hope you are creating a to-do list and doing the things on said list. That's my plan for today. Why? Because my life is in shambles. Here's the mission. You do laundry. Unpack my suitcase. Go through my inbox. Eat some delicious burgers. Give Scarborough a shower. Clean my house. All that and more. It's gonna be sick. That's just for today. Tomorrow I'm gonna have a little date with Ro and everything else is extra. Let's do it. This is currently my room. This is the thing with traveling. Very grateful. Very blessed. Not everyone gets to travel, I recognize how lucky I am, but every time I'm done traveling, this has gotta happen, it just happens so often, my room is always disoriented, my bed sheets aren't even washed yet, but since before I left, I've been sleeping on a mattress, yesterday Masako came over and she's like, what the hell is this? Because my sheets are still just in the washer, like a week ago, so yeah, figure this out, my bra probably doesn't go there, I, I just, let's do it. Here's the thing, right, I know people when they watch my vlogs, and people that know me personally, they're like, why don't you get someone to clean your house, or like, why does this stuff frazzle you? I'm not frazzled, I just, it would bother me if this stayed like this for a while more. Oh my god, I am my mother. But the reason for me to be the productive, hustling person I'm required to be, I just can't do it in this environment. Like, I need to feel like, alright, my ish is taken care of, my laundry's done. Like, I can't be hustling hard, writing scripts, doing my inbox, knowing that, like, my clothes are all dirty. Like, I just can't do it. You work well in an environment that is just on point. And that's what I'm trying to establish, on point. Right, sweet boy? Right, sweet boy? Which means that you could help me by not missing the pee pad like that. Okay? Okay? What are you eating? What are you eating? What are you eating? This little guy has got me a little worried because yesterday and to thank you, Bubba. Yesterday and today, he like refuses to go on a walk, which is because he loves walks. But I've been taking him and he just like puts the brakes on with the leash and he refuses to move and he looks so scared. So like something is scaring him about taking a walk. And I was like Googling it. They're like, oh, maybe like something happened on the last walk that you didn't pick up on. So like we got to get this guy back to walking because he just looks so scared. He just like stops and he goes, I'm like, what's wrong? I have no idea, so we gotta figure it out. Oh, wow, are you helping mommy unpack? Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, baby. I boom, unpacked all of Scarborough's slippers that he stole from me, lined up, not that one. Laundry's in the washer. We're on our way, Masako's gonna come over again. We just wanted to like chill this weekend because I was like, yo, I need some friendship time. And I just wanna chill and vibe out. Let me get some Beyond Burgers, which if you haven't had them Beyond Impossible Burgers, they're like amazing veggie burgers. But before we get into all that, if you joined the live stream yesterday, you know this, but I want to tell you again. I wanna just have a moment to talk to you, Team Super. I just did an Instagram post as well. I have a 50% sale on my merch, up to 50%, lilysing.com, so up to 50% off, and until May 30th at midnight, the sale ends. The code is Team Super OG. Why is that the code? Why is this the merch? Let me just, I wanna just have a little open letter to you right now. I've been doing a lot of reflection recently and I do this often. If you know anything about me, you know I like to like think a lot and write a lot and like reflect and grow. I'm all about those vibes. I don't like to consider myself lucky. Like it really annoys me actually if people call me lucky. And I think that's because people will see like awards or like things on Forbes list and they're like, oh, she's so lucky. And that bothers me because I don't think I'm lucky in the way that they think. I don't think I'm lucky because I had awards and I get money and I get all the things that people like to think are important. I worked really hard for those things. If you follow this vlog channel, you know that I have worked really, really hard. I've pulled all-nighters. I have failed and failed and failed. I've continuously stepped out of my comfort zone. That's why I get a lot of those things. However, I do consider myself lucky for two reasons. Number one is because I recognize the privilege I had right from the get-go in order to work very hard. You know, I had supportive parents. I had parents that could provide for me. I was born in a country that allowed me to go to school. I was born healthy. I was born capable to do all the things I needed to do. So in that sense, lucky. My hard work has nothing to do with where I was born. That I'm very blessed and lucky. Second reason I'm lucky is because I know there are people out there who hope, pray, and hustle just as hard as I do and still don't have fans like you. For that reason, I am also lucky because I could have worked very, very hard, but still I could have had fans that are, you are so uniquely special to me where I truly believe, and you can ask any of my friends and anyone I talk to, I am so adamant on this. I say, yo, I know everyone has fans, but no one's fans are like my fans. I don't care what you tell me. No one's fans are like my fans. The way you know me, the way you support 
support me the way you say, yo, don't make videos. Just take care of yourself. Like, I don't know many other fans that would talk to a musician and say, don't make music, we don't care. Or, like, don't act, we don't care. You care about me. And I recognize that, and I'm so grateful and appreciative of you. And I said this on my Instagram post as well, but I want to repeat it here. You never have to apologize for not getting merch or not tweeting about my videos or not doing those things. I hold no expectations of you. Your support in any way you do it is perfect and beautiful. And I know a lot of you were not able to afford merch. If that's the case, it's up to 50% off for the next couple days. Even if you still don't get merch, I don't care. Like, look at me, I'm a bad business person. I don't care if you buy my merch. I don't think of you any less. You're still an amazing fan. But in case you wanted it, it is up to 50% off right now. Releasing.com. The code is Team Super OG until May 30th. I freaking love you. Oh, it is going down. Now, as a vegetarian or a vegan, as Masako's a vegan, vegan, something that doesn't happen often with our food is that sizzle right there. You know what I'm talking about? That little pop. That little snap, crackle, pop right there. Mmm. It's gonna be cute. It's gonna be cute. Our bro's like, um, I would like to sit on the table. It's cute. We're cute. You're so cute. This is so cute. It's summertime. Time to take a shower. He's so chill. He's like, this is fine. He gets in the super submissive position. He lets me do it to him because he's like, this is my mom. Oh, he's backing up. <laughs> Scarborough, Baba. Hey, Scarborough, come here. Scarborough, come here, baby. But we're gonna give you a clean bum bum, okay? What do you think? Well, I know. I know. I know. But how are you gonna get all the ladies or all the men? Whatever you want. Love wins, baby. It did so good. I'm so proud of you, buddy. Let me take a good shake. Wow! What a handsome guy. You know, F yourself, mama. I'm about to drink this whole glass of water. Give me the points. And with that, good night, teacher mom. And I did it, and it's morning. Took out my braids. My head is hurting so much. I hate when I wake up with a headache. It's like the worst thing ever because nothing I do will get rid of it because it's been like pounding all night. Took the Advil, did the Tiger Bomb, did the stretching. Still hurts so much. I tried to take Scarborough for a walk again this morning also and he's scared. I don't know what happened or what in his brain has associated something negative with a walk, but he used to love walk. Now he's like, no. I refuse, so I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. I'm taking him to kindergarten in just a little bit, which means he's <laughs> gonna be crying and scared, but I, he's gotta learn, so we gotta, we gotta figure it out. With the head hurting. Let's see if this helps. We out here trying, fam. So, I don't know where this boy's confidence has gone. He's so scared of the stairs, of walks, of other dogs. There's a dog smaller than him today. He's still scared, so we're gonna have to work on it, buddy, okay? I'm committing from this point on. I'm gonna work on this every day with you, buddy. I got you. I don't know what you're scared of, but we're gonna figure it out, okay? Mommy got you. Mommy got you, Bubba. I feel a hundred times better because Scarborough's with his friend Cookie and he's playful. Look, you're not scared. Oh, See? Yeah, you're doing so good. You're doing so good, buddy. Wow. Hi. Hi, Hi baby. Hi, baby. Hi. Look at this. Good Look job, it. buddy. Good job. Go get her. Go get her. Go get her. Wow. Scarborough's like, I can't get up there yet, but I'm gonna try. Are you with your favorite auntie? <laughs> Hello. Look, it's Andrew who looks fabulous. Man. Can we just take a moment to look how fabulous Ro looks in my house? This is me. <laughs> and this is Ro. Ro just shows up with her sun okay. hat, wearing a skirt, all fabulous. First oh my off, god. First off, okay, I have a blemish. <laughs> oh, please. I got a blemish a right blemish. here. Right here. It has been growing for the last week. I can't stop it. I have given up. You're fabulous. Everything about you is fabulous. And so, you know, just fabulous. do this. Just cover it like this. Stop it. You're fabulous. Oh, cookie right on my boobs again. <laughs> oh, God. The, oh, on my uterus. Right. These two lovebirds right here, Scarborough and Cookie, are in love with each other. In love. Wow, buddy. Oh, you sniffing yeah. the booty? Yeah. Sniff that booty, yes. You didn't even buy her dinner yet, Scarborough. Be a gentleman. Be a gentleman. Oh, oh good girl. girl, good boy. Look at our kids, Ro, getting They're going along. Up so fast. They're going up so fast. All of Cookie's confidence has rubbed off on Scarborough. Thank you, Cookie. Oh my goodness. Cookie, you got an itch? Your bow tie itch? Yeah. Oh. I feel so much better about Scarborough. Cookie gave him so much confidence. He goes up and down the stairs now. And I knew you could, buddy. I knew you could. And he was playing so nice. Oh, that's why I need more dog play dates. That's what it is. More dog play dates. All right. So Scarborough's new confidence has resulted in a new thing to stress about. I'm doing the dishes and I'm like, oh, I haven't heard Scarborough in a while. Nowhere on this one, Scarborough. Freaking out, went upstairs, couldn't find him anywhere. Homeboy went up two flights of stairs by himself, because I don't have gates at the bottom, at the top, so he doesn't fall down, because he wasn't able to go up the stairs. Went up these stairs and up the other stairs at the very top of the house. He can't get down, so he's just standing there. So now I gotta block him from going up certain places because he can't get down. But look at you going exploring on your own without mama. So proud of you, buddy. 
and you're very tired because you played the whole day and mama needs to go put a face mask on. Give me the points! I freaking love Ro. She's a gem. A mother effing gem. She's a genuine human being. I love spending time with her. Tomorrow is a holiday, Monday, so I'm gonna still work, but none of the team's gonna be in, so it's like a half work day, kind of. I got a lot of emails and stuff to catch up on. It's also video day, so stay tuned for today. Let's see how we do. Scarborough's barking, I wonder why. Oh, is it because you're up there and don't know how to get down once again? Buddy, what do you think is gonna happen if you go upstairs? You're gonna be trapped. What are you gonna do now? How are you gonna get down? You're gonna keep going up the stairs? <laughs> yeah.